Remember, that's just fine. So, right now we're set up on 90 degrees. You can see it right in there. Okay. And now, I, you'll, you'd have to show me on a print whether we were pulling the 37 and a half degrees off of this face or if we're pulling with respect to this face. I don't, I haven't seen that prep, so. I don't think it matters as long as it comes out looking that way. Okay. You yeah, it's just, it, it just, it would just matter whether that's within respect from here, this angle, or if it's the angle from here to here. It'd be an angle from here down. Okay, so all I have to do is count back. 90, 80 is 10, 70 is 20, 60 is 30, 65 is 35, 36, 37. Let's split the difference. Now if you get in there real close, you'll see that 37 and a half there. Does that make sense? Yep, 37 and a half. Got it. Just pulling off of the 90 degree. Let me just got you just count, instead of going from zero to 37, you just count back. Yep. From 90. From 90. Head it down. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. At what speed do you get it? It's got to be fast we're gonna, though. We're going to go slow. Okay. There's a big part, so there's a lot of distance traveling. Like on a tire, okay. you know, the center of your hub isn't going as far as the outside of your wheel. So we got a lot of material spinning out there, so we're going to go slow. We're probably going to scrub the 132 to see what that does for us. So we're spinning towards you, right? Over the top onto the tool. So yesterday we were talking. Backside, opposite way. Yep, so you got to flip it around. Okay. Okay? That's it. What do we do now? Keep driving. Okay. Just jump up here on the handle. Okay. We're going to bring this handle over. I want you to go down. To the edge? Oh, just, just don't go a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now bring this guy in and touch our part. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to travel forward and back. So, go ahead and travel this handle forward towards me. We got a great piece of size belt. Okay. I want you to travel this handle this direction now. Okay, good. Go back. system here, each one of these lines is a thousandth of an inch. Okay. Okay. So if we go in there 15, 20 thou, we'll have a pretty decent cut. So you just gotta count your numbers off. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There you go. Big thing whenever you 
set up the tool location. I got I, I had this set up for you guys when you got in. You know, if you loosen this nut, that whole thing rotates around. We just want to make sure that point is what's always cutting, the very leading point on that. Doesn't matter anyway. Which one is cutting. Exactly. So I don't have to keep that one in this pipe. I'm gonna get the kind of Yep. And you can go, you can probably get a little more aggressive on, on that. Take a 50 thou cut. The big thing to remember is that three jaw truck doesn't hold real well. It's only up those had to spin out on me, come flying out on me. It took too big of a bite. So you take too big a bite, get a little aggressive on them, and you can pull that part out. Right now, the chip color we're getting is good. You see that yellow color that's coming off? Not overheating yet. That's our warning. So it says don't go any faster, don't take any deeper cut. You start seeing that dark, more dark of yellow than that, I slow down my spin. Okay. Got that on there? So it's just the next time that's actually. guys welding, you want to be real careful about adding that heat. If you start getting those colors changing, you guys are going to come through a weld, and then you're going to have an annealed part that's going to be soft right there. The weld is going to be nasty. So. Yeah, it's going to be but so, what, so this is 25, right? Yep. So I could just, it's easier just to go all the way to 50 like that. I don't have to, like I said, I don't have to keep that one. I got the premise now. So I'm sure you, you guys go as you want. I think I bumped her. Yeah, we did. Problem.